Hello and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. In this video, we are going to continue on working with the Lacy Pineapple Shawl, which is one of my favorite shawls. It's the one I'm wearing right now. If you've missed the first video, go ahead and click on the video link below to catch up to where we are here in this video. In this video, we are going to begin with row seven, which is the beginning of the row repeat of this shawl. You will repeat rows seven through nine through the course of this shawl. And within those row repeats are stitch pattern repeats. So we will work through these rows in this video. Grab your pattern, grab your yarn, and let's get started. Down here, you can see where we left off in the last video. This is the shawl worked up through row six, and we're ready to begin row seven, which once again is our row repeat. These are the rows that you are going to repeat throughout the entire pattern, and I want to make sure you know how to do that. So let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to pick this up and turn my work and begin for row seven. Now row seven, we have to get our hook and our yarn to this chain two space, which I've marked already at the end of the last video. So I'm going to work a slip stitch into each of the stitches over to that chain two space. And this is consistent throughout the whole pattern. I like to get my hook and my yarn over to the chain two space. Now I'm ready to jump in. We'll start off with our chain three. And then we will do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and one more all into that space. And if you remember from the first video, that counts as our beginning shell. Once we've completed the beginning shell, we're ready to move on. So we do our chain three, and we pop all the way over here to this shell, and we're gonna begin another pineapple. Now this is where our stitch pattern begins to grow, and we will increase the number of pineapples every time we do another repeat. So we start off with our double, chain three, double, chain three, double, chain three, double, chain three, and a double. Now I'm gonna go back, just like I told you guys in the first video, and count to make sure I have five doubles. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. This is the start of another pineapple. I carry on now, and I do a chain three, and you will see in the instructions that it says this is where the stitch pattern repeat begins, meaning right now we'll only have one stitch pattern repeat until we get to the center marker. But as our shawl grows, we will have to repeat this next set of instructions however many times we need to until we get to our center marker. So we've just finished with our chain three and we go on, we move over here to this chain five space, which was the finish of our pineapple from the previous section. We do a single crochet chain five, come to the next chain five space, do a single crochet, and then we're going to chain three, and we'll come all the way over here to this next shell space, okay, so we're skipping all of this, and we're gonna begin another pineapple. So this will be the second pineapple for this side of the shawl. We just finished one full pineapple, so now we're starting our um, next section repeat, which will give us our two pineapples on either side of the shawl. So right here, I'm just doing my double crochet separated with chain threes, and I'll have five double crochets into this section when everything is said and done. To go back and count real quick, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five. So that will be the beginning of my pineapple. I finish this off with the chain three, and that is one stitch pattern repeat. From this point right here, to this point right here, that's a stitch pattern repeat. So if I had more stitches on my shawl, so if I was not to my center point right now, I would go back and repeat that entire section of stitches until I get to the center section. But because I'm at the center now, I can carry on. Here I am, I'm at my center mark stitch, so here is my mark marker, which I placed in the end of the last video, which means this is the center spine. If I didn't mark that stitch, all I would have to do is lay this down and find that center spine, knowing that's where I'm gonna work this next set of stitches. For this, I'm going to go ahead and do a shell right here into this set. So I'm going to do two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets. So here's one and two. 
I will do chain three, carry on over here to this next set of shells, and I'm gonna begin the pineapple for this side of the shawl. Remember, each side of this shawl is symmetrical with the other. So what we just completed on the opposite side, we will be completing again on this side, which makes it really easy to memorize as you get going along. As you're able to read your stitches and know, oh, okay, I need to start a, a shell pattern here. I need to uh, continue my, my pineapple here, or maybe I start my, sh my pineapple here. Whatever it may be, you're gonna be able to start reading the stitches as you go along. Maybe not right now, but by the time you get down to like rows 15, 16, 17, you'll have no problem. Here we are, one, two, three, four, five. So I have my five double crochets separated by three single crochets right there. And I'm ready to do my chain three. And I can start my stitch pattern repeat yet again. So here I am to my chain five section. See that? I'll do a single crochet, chain five, Come to the next chain five space, do a single crochet, chain three. Over here to the next shell, I'm going to do another start of the pineapple. So I do a double chain three, so on and so forth, a double chain three, a double chain three, and a double, let's see, in chain three, and one last double. Make sure I have five double crochets there. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the start of a pineapple. Great. Chain three. That finishes up my stitch pattern repeat. Once again, that was from this stitch right here to this stitch right here. If I had more stitches, I would repeat that whole section again, but I don't. I'm over here to my last marked stitch. I'm gonna finish off this row by doing a shell in the very last chain two. So I'm gonna complete my shell right here, set it down so that you guys can see what we have. Set down my work. So you can see this is where we began, right here. So we started off with our shell pattern, worked our stitches as they were marked until we got to where our stitch pattern repeat began, which is right here. So we worked our stitch pattern repeat all the way through to this point. If this were bigger, we would repeat that whole section once again, but we didn't. We worked until we got to the center marker because that's where we need to work. When we got to the center marker, we did our shell and then we repeat from star, which again is chain three, work at the beginning of a pineapple, chain three, and then this is our stitch pattern repeat once again, and then we finished off with our shell. Hopefully you're beginning to be able to see how the stitches work together and how the stitch pattern begins to build upon itself. The stitch pattern repeat is really simple. Once you get it kind of in your head that the stitch pattern repeat is building on each pineapple. So as you work along, the more pineapples you have in your section, in your half, you will have more stitch pattern repeats. As you work through rows seven through nine, you will be increasing the number of pineapples you have by one. Let's go ahead and move on to row eight. Ah, before we move on to row eight, we have to move up our stitch markers so that we know where we are. So I'm going to move these up just one space. So I'm gonna take this one, I'm moving it up. Here's my chain two space there. Once again, I like to mark it in the row below for this particular pattern because I wanna be able to work into that space without fighting with stitch markers. For this center one, I'm gonna take my marker, pop it out of this, move it up one more so I make sure I'm in the center see how that's right down the center spine and then last but certainly not least I will do this one as well so now my markers are moved up and I'm ready to move on to row eight so I pick up my work and turn and I have to get my hook and my yarn again in the place that it needs to be so I am going to do slip stitches over to my chain two section and here we are, I'm in my chain two section and I'm ready to begin row eight. So I'm on row eight, I begin with the chain six, three, four, five, six, and now I'm also going to do a shell into the same space. This is going to be an increase, okay? Because this is where I'm gonna be able to begin increasing for my next pineapple. So I'm going to do my shell into the same space and as you've been working along, you know that the shell is a, ch a two double crochets, chain two, and then two double crochets. So there's one and two. 
And then we carry on. So we have a chain three, one, two, three. And we're gonna skip all of this and come over here to where we've started our pineapple on the last row. And we're gonna put a single crochet into the chain three space. And then we'll chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, whoops, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, and single crochet in the last chain three space. Once you've completed that, you will chain three, and we will begin our stitch pattern once again. So we will go ahead and we're gonna put a shell into this chain five that we created at the start of our stitch pattern repeat last time. So we're going to put our double, double, two chains, and then two more doubles. There's one, and there's two. Now we'll chain three. Skipping all of this, going over here to where our pineapple is, we're gonna do exactly like we did before by putting a single crochet into the chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain three space, chain three. That completes our stitch pattern repeat, which began right here all the way to there. Once again, if you have more pineapples, you'll repeat that all the way until you get to the center spine. We are at our center spine, and I know that because there's my stitch marker, but also I can see it right there. At the center spine this time, because we increased out here at this edge, we're also gonna be increasing here, which means we're gonna put two sets of shells into this space right here. And those shells will be separated by a chain three. So here's my first shell. Let me complete this one. Once I've completed that, I'm gonna chain three. And then in the same space, I'm gonna do another shell. And this is how we get our increases. This is how we get to increase the number of pineapples we have on either side of the shawl by doing these systematic increases. Once we've done that, I can go ahead and carry on. I'm going to chain three. Move on over here to the bottom of this pineapple. And just like before, working into this chain three space, I do a single crochet, chain five, Next chain three space, do a single, chain five. Next chain three space, do a single, chain five. Next chain three space, do a single, and then chain three. This is where my stitch pattern repeat begins. So I know that in my chain five from the stitch pattern repeat below, I go ahead and do my shell. So there's two doubles, chain two, two doubles, one, two. I will chain three, work over here to the next pineapple into the chain three space, just like we've been doing before. Did a single crochet and then I chain five, single crochet in the next, chain five, single crochet in the next, chain five, single crochet in the next, chain three. That is the end of the stitch pattern repeat for this side. I would carry on repeating that yet again if I had more stitches until I got to the very edge, which is where I am right now. I'm here to the edge and I'm gonna finish off with a shell into this chain two space and a chain three and a double crochet. Just like we began with our chain six, which counts as a double crochet chain three, we have to finish off the same way. So I just finished that. I'm gonna set this down so we can see how this is growing. And we can see our sides here are growing nice and neat. Our center is growing up and you can see right here, this center section right here, that's where we begin to continue to build our stitches. So right here was our first pineapple and here's our first pineapple on this side. And then now that we're in our second set of repeats, we're seven through nine, we have a pineapple here, 
and a pineapple here, a pineapple here, and a pineapple here. And by doing this increase and this increase, we've already set the stage, so to speak, for the next set of pineapples that will be made on, on the next section of seven through nine again. So we'll have three pineapples on either side. Does that make sense? Let's go ahead and continue on with row nine. Before I continue on with row nine, I also once again want to move up my stitch marker so that I know where I am in my actual pattern. So I'm moving those up. This is something that you might tend to forget as you go along and it might, as you get going, it might be something that you don't need to do anymore. But because it was easier to write the pattern to say, okay, go to where the stitch marker is, that's why I put it in there because it's just a lot easier to be able to write the pattern that way. And it helps people understand where it is they're supposed to um, continue on until they're done with their repeat. Now, I want to point something out here in that I just moved this one up right and I moved it up right there when in actuality it should be moved right here because remember we did our chain three and a double crochet so this stitch marker should actually be right there not into that increase because that's now into the play um, I like to think of it as in play it's in the body of the shawl now where this is the edge so over here here's the the increase and here's my chain six so I want to make sure that my marker is right there where the chain six is and I'm gonna move this one also that was a happy accident to have happen so that you guys can see how that works so that you don't make that same mistake there we are I moved the marker up now and it's right here on the edge stitch so we are ready to start row nine I pick up my work and turn and I'm going to get my hook and yarn in place yet again and how do I do that I do that by slip stitching over to the chain space so there's my marked chain space and I'm ready to start row nine so for row nine I start off with a chain six four five six and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double crochet into this first space so I put a double crochet right there can you see how that works? Now I'm gonna do a chain three. I'm gonna put a shell into this next shell. And remember, this is the shell that we increase. So it's the new shell. Um, you can kind of think of it that way when actually this is the new part, but this shell is just continuing on. But sometimes it's easier to, easier to think of it as, oh, it's the new shell, it's the new stitch. It's where the new pineapple is going to be. So um, that's kind of cool. So we've just built that. So we've done our shell and we're going to chain three. And now we get to finish off this pineapple. So the finishing off for this pineapple is doing a single crochet into this chain five and then chain five, single crochet into the next chain five, chain five, and single crochet in the last. Now what this does is we have just created the final edging of this pineapple. Actually on row seven when we join these two sections I think of that as like the final final but this is a great way to think of it okay I'm, I'm close I'm ready to move on to the next part of my repeat. So once I do that I chain three and I'm ready to begin my stitch pattern repeat which begins with a shell into the shell from before so we just skip over and make sure you're working into these shell spaces, you guys, and not working into any of the other chains that we have created. And that can be a little bit confusing. So make sure you look for the actual double crochets and the chain spaces between. Once you've done the shell, you will chain three and we will go over here to this next pineapple pattern and do just like we did before, a single crochet into this chain five space. Then we'll chain five single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not chain five, that's chain three. So we did single, chain five, single, chain five, single, and then this is a chain three, which is the end of our stitch pattern repeat. So if you have more stitches, you will repeat that whole section one more time until you get to the center marker. Once you're to your center marker, you go ahead and we're gonna put a, um, a shell into this one shell we've created in the center marker from the previous row. So we're going to do our shell right here. We'll do a chain three, do a double crochet smack dab in the center chain twos from before, and then chain three, 
I'm sorry, chain threes from before. And then do a double crochet again, all of that into that same space. So that was a double, a chain three, and a double. And then we chain three, which puts us over here to this set of shell, not set of shell, it's a shell that we created on the last um, row when we were at the center spine section. So this is our increase that I mentioned for this side. And there you have it. So we carry on in pattern with our chain three, move over here to the finishing portion of our pineapple, and we will finish this off with our single crochets into the chain five space, chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, and then we'll chain three. This begins our stitch pattern repeat. So right here, this is my shell from the previous row. I'm gonna do a shell into that chain two space. Chain two, do another shell, not shell, do another of my two double crochets, I apologize. Then I will chain three. I'm over here to my next pineapple, so I'm gonna work that next pineapple just like I did before with my single crochet into the chain five space and then chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and then single crochet in the last chain five space. Then you will chain three. That's the end of the stitch pattern repeat. You will repeat all of that once again until you get to the end of the row. When you're to the end of the row, you will put another shell into the chain two space of the shell created from the previous row and you will finish off this entire row by doing chain three, double crochet into that chain six space, one chain three, and then double crochet into that chain six space. Let's set this down and take a look at what we have. Oh, it's starting to look like something pretty. So here we are, this is where we began, and we started to increase out this way and increase out this way. As we increased out there and down the center spine, we are increasing the number of pineapples we actually have. So right here at the beginning, we had one pineapple on either side. We just completed two pineapples on either side. And as we begin the next set of repeats, so we'll repeat rows seven through nine again, we will learn that we have three pineapples on either side. And that's where you will begin to have your stitch pattern repeat come into play. So as you get to the end of the stitch pattern repeat, you will have to repeat it once again because you have one more pineapple until you get to center. Does that make sense? Let me show you exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna move this one out of the way and I'm gonna bring in one other that I have created so far. And this one is worked up through another set of seven through nine. So it's kind of hard to see, so let's turn it sideways like this. This is my center point right here and this is where I finished off. And so I just carried this on through so we have our first set of pineapple, our second set, and then we just finished our third set of pineapple. As I continue on doing another set of seven through nine, I, will, I would have four sets of pineapple on this side, so on and so forth. So as I take the one we were just working on, let me see if this will work, and I set it on top, you can see right here, can you see that? How one set of seven through nine creates the full pineapple. So there's a the pineapple, and here's where we were, and this is where it was starting. You see how that works? So here we just had two and the next one we have three and the next one we'll have four. And as you work along, that's where the stitch pattern repeat goes where I pointed out that, okay, this is the stitch pattern repeat. You would repeat this until you get to the center marker or to your outside marker. It's really not that hard, right? As you get going, it's really easy. Now, as you work on your shawl and you work through rows seven through nine, you repeat those the number of times that are written in your pattern. You will finish on a row nine and your very final row will actually kind of bring it all together. It makes it so that it finishes off the pineapples and then on the shells, you will create another shell on top of a shell and you have an option. You could do just the shell as you've been doing it as two doubles, chain two, two doubles, 
or maybe you do two doubles, chain three, two doubles. It looks really good as well. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna work you through the final row on this particular swatch. So that way you can see what it looks like once you get everything completed, okay? Okay, let's get started on the final row. The final row is rather simple and it's very similar to what we've been working along in that we have to go ahead and get our work over into our chain space. As you can see, I've changed colors to try and make this row a little bit more visible to see the difference from what I'm doing. I'm to my, my space, my chain three space from the very last row that I created on row nine. And I'm going to start off with a chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, once I've done that chain six, I can do five double crochets all into that same chain space. So I'm going to do five double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Once I've done the five double crochets, I can go ahead and carry on. So I'm going to have one, two, three chains. And then I go ahead and I'm going to do a shell into these shells. And this is where I had mentioned if you wanted to do a chain two, you could. If you wanted to do a chain three, you could. So my yarn is sneaking up on me. Let's get myself some slack here. So I did my two double crochets. Let's see what it looks like with the chain three instead. I think what that's going to do is just make it a little bit extra pointy towards the end. And I think that would be really pretty. So here we are, I finished with a shell and I just get a little bit of a point there. Then I carry on, I chain five, three, four, five. I come over here, now this is the top of a pineapple. Can you see it there? There's a chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet. So I finish off here by putting a single crochet into this first chain five, just like we've been doing. I chain five put a single crochet in the next chain five. This is very similar to what we've been doing all along. What's dissimilar here is that we carry on and we'll do another set of chain five. So that way it allows our chains to reach over to where our next shell needs to be. So I will put a shell right here into the top of this next shell. And you will repeat this along the way um, every time you get to I'm gonna do a chain three in this shell. Every time you get to where there's a pineapple, you will finish the pineapple just like I showed you. And every time you get to the shell, you'll do the shell um, in whichever way, whether the chain three or chain two. So I finished the shell. So without even looking at my pattern, I know I chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I come over here and I'm at the top of my pineapple. So I'm gonna do a single, chain five, get myself some more slack here, a single in the next chain five, and then I do a chain five again, because that chain five allows me to reach over here to where the shell is, so I'll do my shell. And I just keep repeating that until I get to my center marker, until the center spine of the, stit, of the shawl. <clears throat> Once I get to the center spine of the shawl, that's when things get a little bit different. So I just did my shell and now I'm almost there. Okay, so I need to do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm to a pineapple, so I gotta do my pineapple finish here. Becomes very easy to get through this, don't you think? Now I'm over here, I'm to my last shell before my center. So I know I'm gonna do my shell into this space. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now I gotta do a chain three and into my center space here, I'm gonna put five double crochets chain three, and then five double crochets. I love the way this center spine final point looks with all of the five double crochets chain three worked into it. Let me show you what that looks like. Look how pretty that is. Once you've worked your stitches into the center spine, you'll work the other side of the shawl 
very similar to what you just did on this side. Just like you've been doing the entire shawl, everything is symmetrical. So it's like everything's on repeat. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish this side of the shawl, and then show you what I have. Okay, so I finished the shawl here, and you can see the gray is the final row that I've completed, and it finishes off all of the pineapples, and it finishes off the actual shells with a nice point to it. Here's the tip top of it. I think that is so pretty. And then the opposite side is very similar. Now, because you are using Red Heart Heart and Soul for this project, and it is a percentage of wool and nylon, it's very important that you wash and block this particular shawl. It's not hard, it's really easy. Um, just throw it in some nice wool wash and then set it out flat like this and use T-pins to stretch out the stitches, okay? For me, I like to really grab on to this shell right here and then pin that out so that I get a nice point. I think it's really pretty. Once you do that also, it's really going to open up the lace stitches a little bit more and it makes it just that much more beautiful. Let me show you what I mean on the actual sample here. I have the beautiful sample we did in the gorgeous purple colorway and I'm going to hold this upside down so that way you can see it just as we've been working on it. And down here, this is where we began in the very first part of the shawl. And you can see where the pineapples began to increase along the way. And then as it was made, more and more and more and more and more pineapples were created all the way. And then at the very end, it finishes off with this beautiful point. And then when we washed and blocked the shawl, we actually pulled out the point of the pineapple along with the point of the shells because they looked really nice and beautiful together. And it just is a really great way to finish your shawl and give it that something. Now this particular shawl is is just gorgeous. I can't even tell you. All of these shawls are so pretty and I love this purple. And this one, I do believe that it did a repeat of seven through nine 12 times and then it was the finishing row, um, row and it's just it's just simply gorgeous you guys it is so incredibly beautiful now in the pattern i didn't write in there that you had to go back and single crochet along the edge of the actual shawl but you absolutely could do that and it would be done as simple as just joining your yarn and single crocheting along the long edge of your shawl if you wanted to clean it up a little bit I personally don't think it needs it. I think the shawl is beautiful the way it is, but that is an option of something you could do. These shawls are really great for anybody around the world, whether you're in a warm climate or a cool climate. They're perfect just to throw on over around your neck, around your shoulders, whatever it may be. Um, Cause I know for a fact that there's a lot of places that are really warm, but you go in and there's air conditioning that is like blowing like crazy and you're freezing. So these are just nice. They, they fold up real nice and small and fit perfectly into your your purse. Um, as you can see, I wear mine where I put the tip of mine in the front and then I wrap the ends of the, the wingspan around my neck and have it draped down. I like to wear mine that way, but that does not mean you have to wear it that way. You can wear it any way you want. No matter how you choose to wear it, please share with me pictures of you in your beautiful shawl, whether it's in process or a, a finished project all wrapped around your shoulders. I would love to see it. Please show me over on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Marley Bird. I love to see finished objects and I love to see that these videos are really helping you make these beautiful pieces. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns, and this is a Marley Bird YouTube video for the lacy pineapple shawl, and I can't wait to see all of you make yours. Please hit subscribe so you're up to date whenever there's a new video released, and make sure you smash that like button as my kids say. I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye. All right. All you need to do to complete this dishcloth is to work until it measures about 8 inches.